Now, today I'm going to introduce new EVF of Cineroid. This Cineroid new EVF use Retina SD, same as the uh, of iPhone S, iPhone 4. Also, it has uh, HDSDI input as well as HDMI input. I will introduce one by one today. Cineroid. How much it, this size is? This is a new EVF with a Retina LCD, and this is a Cineroid EVF metal version. I will compare this size. Height is this EVF four I is slightly higher than this, but very small. And this is also almost the same. The screen is much bigger than this. This is EPF meta, and this is a Cineroid new EPF with Retina LCD. So you can see how much it difference between the thickness. Actually, the, this new this is uh, slightly thin than this thin. The screen is uh, more wide than this. It has uh, two kind of input. One is uh, HDMI in, another one is uh, HDSDI in. Also, this uh, HDSDI in and HDMI support to 3G 1080p signal. And it has you eight HDSDI output. It comes from HDSDI source to uh, loop, loop out. Also, HDMI, in case of HDMI in, it converting and converted and go to this HDSDI output. This is uh, Control door. You can navigate to menu using this. No. Also, there are four button. You can assign any functions. For example, picking, force color, or waveform, vector scope. You can assign any function to this button, and by pushing this button, you can toggle on or off of function. This is this new EVF can use two kinds of power source. One is battery. So you attach battery mount and you can use uh, many kinds of battery. Also you can use external power through this uh, mini XLR power input connector. It receive uh, from 6 volt to 17 volt. This is your power on or for switch. You can adjust the opter using this. Also, you can flip up this loop using this knob. Slide, and you can flip up like this. Well, you can remo remove this part by pushing this. Completely, you can remove this part. And now this is a hood of this small monitor. Even you don't need this. Uh, and you can move this knob and this knob. So 
합시다. 이 o 는 remove this. And this is a totally very thin, small monitor. You can attach again this hood. There are four, uh, three mount point, but you cannot attach it directly. So this small mount is supplied. You can attach this top or side or bottom. This monitor, this LCD is the same LCD of iPhone 4. This LCD, LCD, same LCD. So this is a Retina LCD. Resolution is 960 by 640. You can use uh, this uh, battery mount to, to supply power battery, uh, from battery. First, uh, you need to open this cover. And this is a uh, battery connector point. So you need to attach this battery mount. This. With this battery mount, you can use Canon LP E6 battery. But if you want to use another, another kind of battery, first remove battery, and you can change this part. This is for Sony. MPF type battery. Now you can use this battery. This is a Canon battery, this is Sony battery. This. So by changing this mount, you can use Sony, Panasonic, Nikon, uh, Canon, any kind of battery. Uh, I'm showing the the TV with some music video source. And this is normal. And I show you the waveform. You can see this uh, bottom side waveform moving. This is a style one of waveform. This waveform is uh, go through bottom side uh, through whole image. This one. And next is a second style. You can see horizontal and vertical both side waveform. And this is a small vector scope. If this is too small, to check the waveform vector scope, and you can choose third option, bigger size of waveform. But image is uh, small list too. So you can see vector scope and waveform and this horizontal waveform. This is without waveform. 